Hey guys, it's Beach Dead Productions here. Sorry that it's been a while, but it's been five years since I first started this YouTube channel. That's right. It's been five years since 2019, July of 2019. And I was like 11 to 12 years old when I first started making my first ever plush video on this channel. And with those five long years, I'm gonna do something that I haven't done a long time ago, which is, indeed, a plush collection. So, the reason why I'm doing this is because I used to be a plush tuber, which makes sense to do a plush collection. And as of 2024, I have like a lot of plush sheets. And I mean, a lot. Because I have not one, not two, not four, but five containers filled with plushies. So, with that out of the way, let's begin with our good old plush collection as of 2024. And it's gonna be updated sooner, I promise. To start off with this good old plush collection, let's begin with all each of the Super Smash Bros. fighters in plush form. Starting with Mario. Next up is Donkey Kong. Next is Yoshi. The green one to be more specific because I don't have the other colors of Yosh. Next is Kirby. Next is Mario's, well, younger but yet cowardly brother, Luigi. And then to end our good old Smash 64 roster, even though I don't have most of the characters, is good old Jigglypuff. And next, to start off with the melee roster, we have the ruler of the Mushroom Kingdom and Mario's girlfriend, Peach. Next is the big bad himself, Bowser. And to finish Smash Bros. Melee's roster, we have Pichu. And no, I do not have the rest of the fighters from Smash Bros. Melee. And for Super Smash Bros. Brawl roster that I have so far is... Wario. Not the WarioWare version. Just the good old standard Wario that we all know and love. Next up is Donkey Kong's partner, Diddy Kong. Next up is Sonic the Hedgehog, one of the first third-party characters to join the roster. And then to end off with Brawl, we got Toon Link. Next up is Smash 4, starting with Pac-Man. But this is just the arcade design, but not instead of the version with the, with the, with the arms and legs. I only have this version. Next up is Bowser's son, Bowser Jr. Alongside Bowser Jr. are the Koopalings, which by the way, I have like two out of the seven Koopalings, which is Lemmy and Ludwig. Hey guys, uh, Future Beach Gem Productions here, and right now, the Koopaling part is pretty much outdated because I got two more, which is Morton, and Wendy. I got those two at the Florida Mall during my 17th birthday, so right now, I'm 17 years old, happy birthday to me, and uh, yeah, let's just continue. Next is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, starting with the Princess of Sarasaland and Peach's Echo Fighter, Princess Daisy. Next on the list is Isabelle from Animal Crossing. And for the Smash Ultimate DLC fighters, we got Piranha Plant with a bendable stem. Next is Banjo and Kazooie. And last but not least, to end my Smash Brothers plush collection is none other than Minecraft Steve. Now to the next category, which is the other Mario plushies that I have. Starting off is 
Well, Fire Mario and Fire Luigi. And then next are the Toads. First we got the basic Toad. Blue Toad. Yellow Toad. And lastly, Toadette. Next we got the Baby Bros. Starting off with Baby Mario. And Baby Luigi. Next is Cappy from Super Mario Odyssey. Next is Poochie from the Yoshi series. Next we have Bowser's Minions, starting with the standard Goomba. Here is a green-shelled Koopa. Next is the red-shelled Paratroopa. Next is a Cheap Cheap. And last but not least, here's a Shy Guy. Also, I don't know if this counts as a plush, but I got this little plush figure of movie Mario from the Super Mario Bros. movie. It's just to make it count. Before we get into the the other, the next category, I have to show you a few plushies. Like, a few Sonic plushies that I have. Starting with Classic Sonic. Alongside that, here is a super version of Classic Sonic. Next is Miles Tails Per Hour. Next is Classic Knuckles. I don't have the modern Knuckles, so instead I have this guy. And finally, to finish my Sonic plush collection, we have Movie Sonic. This one's from the second Sonic movie, not the first. Can't wait for the third movie, though. Next I have, like, well, two other Pokemon plushes, starting with Meowth from Gen 1. And, from Gen 8, Sobble. Next I have, like, two more miscellaneous video game plushies before you stick to the indie games. Starting with a basic orange inkling squid, for some reason. And finally, a Minecraft Creeper. The next category are the Angry Birds plushies. Most of them are just donated to my cousin, while two of them are just from my simple childhood. Starting with the leader of the flock, Red. Next is Chuck. Here is Bomb. Next is, well, one of the blues. I just got one out of the three. Next we have is Matilda. And last but not least, Hal. For the rest of the birds, I only have one from Angry Bird Space and one from Angry Birds Rio. For Angry Bird Space, I have Space Red, which its voice box doesn't work. And last but not least is, well, for Angry Birds Rio, Blue. Just from the Blue Sky movie, Rio. Next we have are the pigs, which I have three of them. Starting with the basic green minion pig, and then goes to the damaged corporal pig, or helmet pig, whatever you want to call it. And last but not least, to finish the Angry Birds plush collection, a Cupid pig from Angry Birds Seasons. Hey guys, Future Pichu Gem Productions here again, and I forgot to include all the zombies from Plants vs. Zombies, and these, these are the only zombies that I have. We got the Super Brains. The Imp, the classic Imp, and Dr. Zomboss. So yeah, these are these are also belong in the miscellaneous video game section. Next are the Five Nights at Freddy's plushies. And most of them are just made by Funko, so I'll start with the Funko plushies first. Starting with Bonnie. Next we have Shika. With those angry brows. Next is Foxy. And last but not least, to end with FNAF 1, Golden Freddy. Which looks kind of weird looking. Next for FNAF 2, we got this Toy Chica Mystery Mini Plush. 
Next is the puppet, or the marionette, whatever you want to call him. And then there's this weird-looking Shadow Freddy plush. Next is FNAF 3, which is pretty short, and since they have, like, two of the animatronics from that game. Starting with Springtrap. This lazy-looking William Afton. And finally, Phantom Foxy. A Target exclusive plush. Next, I only have like one FNAF 4 plush, which is Nightmare Foxy. Next is Sister Location, starting with Fun Time Freddy and this fricked up looking Bon Bon over there. Also, I used like a rubber band thing on Freddy's hat, on Fun Time Freddy's hat, because he had like a purplish striped hat, just to make it a little accurate. Next, it's Funtime Foxy. Here's Ennard. Finally, we got good old Wolbit. Oh, no, I forgot about Bonnet from Sister Location, too. So, we have to end it off with her. Next is Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator, starting with Helpy. Next is Rockstar Freddy. Here is a Rockstar Foxy with his good old parrot pal. Next is Mr. Hippo who still has the tag on. Next is Pig Patch. Next is Warval Elephant. And last but not least, Candy Cadet. Before we get into Security Breach, I would have to quickly show, show you some of the Twisted Ones plush, aka the plushies that are based on of the, one of the FNAF books. Starting with Twisted Freddy. Next is Twisted Bonnie. Next is Twisted Chica. Here's a Twisted Foxy. Next is Theodore. And last but not least is Stanley, who's missing a wheel. Oh, I also forgot to point, point out that I had this Freddy Frostbird plush from FNAF AR Special Delivery, one of the weakest FNAF games ever made. And also, I actually got the full set of Blacklight plushies by Funko. First we got the Freddies, pick the pink and blue. Next are all the Foxies, purple, blue, and green. And finally, a green toy cupcake. And finally, to end our FNAF collection, we're now moving on to Security Breach, which, by the way, these are just one of the most horrible FNAF plushies, starting with Glamrock Freddy. Next we got Montgomery Gator. Next we have Glamrock Chica. And last but not least, one of my least favorite FNAF plushies, Roxanne Wolf. Like, she doesn't have any freaking lipstick on this plush. And also forgot to mention this big Freddy pillow head thing that I that I got from from Target. Now I have to clear out the, uh, my plushies on the bit because it's too, because it's too messy. Anyway, today we're gonna move on to the rest of the indie game plushies, starting with well, another infamous horror game, Bendy and the Ink Machine. Starting with Bendy himself. Next is Boris! Next is Alice Angel, and by the way... This one does not have any eyelashes. Which is weird, because some of the later versions of this, of this plush had eyelashes. Oh, and also Mines has a loose halo on her head, so there's that. Next is a big plush, and also the main threat of the, of the Bendy and Ink Machine game. Which is the Ink Demon. Next is Sammy Lawrence, 
which his mask can be removed. Next is one of the members of the Butcher Gang, Barley, which is the only member of the Butcher Gang I have at this plush collection. And next is the main protagonist of Bendy and the Dark Revival, Audrey Drew in her ink form. Next are the miscellaneous Bendy plushies, starting with two Blacklight plushies of Boris and Alice Angel. And to conclude the Bendy collection, here's this other Bendy plush, the Silly Vision Bendy. Next are the Cuphead plushies. First off, we got the two Cup Bros, Cuphead and his pal Mugman. Next, I got three of the Cuphead bosses, starting with Cagney Carnation, with legs for some reason, instead of just his good old plant stem. Next is Jimmy the Great's Cup Puppet thing from his boss fight. And last but not least, we got Rumor Honeybottoms. Next, we got plushies from yet another infamous horror game, which is Baldi's Basics. Starting with Baldi himself. The angry version, not the happy version. Here is Playtime. And, last but not least, The Bully. And to end off the indie plush collection, well, from the other indie games, we got two Among Us plushies, both Cyan and Red. Oh, and I kind of forgot about someone. Legendary Chalice. Jesus, I kind of forgot about you for a second. Next are the Disney plushies, which most of them are just Mickey Mouse related. Starting with, well, Mickey Mouse himself. Next we have another Mickey Mouse, which is a modern plush. Next is yet another Mickey plush with a green, sh with a green sweater, blue shorts, and blue hat. Yeah, I got this one during my childhood too, along with the, the first Mickey plush that was mentioned earlier. Not the modern, but the first Mickey plush that I have. And next I have yet another Mickey plush, based on his sorcerer's appearance from Fantasia. Next is Mickey's girlfriend, Minnie Mouse. Next is Donald Duck. Here's Goofy. And then next, I have this goofy puppet that I got as a kid. Next is Daisy Duck, Donald's girlfriend. Next is Pluto, Mickey's dog. And then next, I got this old, ugly Pluto that I got when I was a kid. Yeah, this is why I have to buy a new Pluto plush because of this monstrosity. Like, look at him. He looks so ugly. Next are my miscellaneous plushies, which by the way, we have to go for a good old lightning round because most of the categories are just pretty small, so. First, first off are some of the characters from various TV shows, mostly just for the youngsters, although this video is not for kids, by the way. We got Jake from Disney Junior's Jake and the Neverland Pirates, Nickelodeon's SpongeBob SquarePants, and Cookie Monster from Sesame Street. Here are all of my McDonald's Happy Meal plushies. Some are duplicates, and some are just based on, well, random animated movies. Here are all the characters based on children books. One of them is the Cat in the Hat and Clifford the Big Red Dog, which are the main big ones out of the bunch. Here are my bear plushies, which I have two of these guys. My monkey plushies. My dog plushies. Here is a penguin plush with a little keychain on it. A frog plush, but although it has bean bag, bean things inside. A Porg from the Star Wars sequel trilogy. Minion Bob from the Despicable Me franchise. Jeffrey from, well, the Toys R Us store. We got this before the store just shut down in 2018. And finally, we save the best for last. All Here is all the plushies that I got from Easter when I was a kid. First, we got this brown bunny plush, then this little Easter chick plush, and finally, this blue Easter bunny plush that I used in, vid in most videos, well, some videos even, back in the day, to resemble my FNAF OC that was shown on my profile picture and channel banner. Oh yeah, and also my channel intro as well. And that concludes my good old plush collection of 2024. And boy, that is a huge one. I'm pretty much sorry that this video's development took that long because this took
took me weeks to record and edit the footage of the plush collection due to lack of motivation and taking care of my family. So, I'm so happy that I've been doing YouTube videos for and how I've improved for the past five years. And with that, thank you guys for watching this special video. I'm going to complete and graduate high school since I'm going to be in 12th grade by the time of this recording. And, happy late five year anniversary to Beach Jam Productions. See you guys. Bye.